Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is your boy Tommy Lou, and we are back for some more Pokemon Yellow Randomizer Nuzlocke. I hope you are very, very well. I hope you're happy. I hope you're having a good day. Uh, my recording um, conditions are completely different today. Last time it was really hot and uh, today it is raining or maybe it's just stopped raining um, I'm trying my mic in a little different position I hope it's okay we're just gonna see how it works today so let's get on with the team recap you know we have got Puffboy level 14 who is a Wigglytuff not a Jigglypuff he is a Wigglytuff I'm gonna actually maybe I'll bring it a little bit closer to me I'm gonna sit back a bit oh I hope you didn't hear a squeak we got our level 14 Wigglytuff. We've got our level 22 starter, the Blastoise. We have got level 20 Rio, the Dojo. We've got level 19 Zap. His squad is starting to look strong. He's got his stab move. We've got level 12 Derek, um, the Rhydon. I actually forgot we had him and level 14 Freezy. Now, that's right, in the last episode, we got gifted a Growlithe that should have been a Charmander, well would have been a Charmander, not should have been, would have been a Charmander, I don't know, maybe I'm a little bit far away, maybe I'm going to move the mic back and I'm just going to sit up for a bit. Um, um, you know what, we're going to go cross-legged, I'm going to go cross-legged, my chair's spinning, we're going to sit up a bit, just like this, and I feel like this is a good vibe, this is a good vibe we've got going on here. I can't actually see my webcam right now, so I don't know what this looks like, but we're going to rock out, uh, we're fully healed. And this episode, we are going to tackle Misty. I'm going to speed up a bit. Let's get up through this Nugget Bridge. So, last episode, we ran through these trainers. We absolutely destroyed them. We caught ourselves the Rhydon. We got ourselves a Growlithe from this boy. And we're leaving Growlithe in the PC for now. I gave it a lot of thought. Um, and I don't think we need the Fire type. As much as I was saying... Maybe we could evolve Eevee into the Flareon, but no, I think I think we rock out with this team just because, again, I don't think we need the fire. Um, Rio should be able to handle any grass types, even though we've got three Pokemon weak to it now. Um, Derek, Freezy, and Shellshock. But Zap also resists, even though he's resisted himself. Or maybe maybe he's resisted and not resisted. Anyway, I'm not worried. We've Puffboy's got so much health. Actually, it's Puffboy. Puffboy's got more health than Rio, and he's six levels lower. That is saying something. Um, I'm, I'm, I've never, I don't think I've ever used a Wigglytuff before, and I am excited to use one. Right, we're gonna throw Derek out front because um, I feel like he could become a strong member of the team. Especially because if we get Earthquake, giving him a stab Earthquake. Wait, this is a route as well, isn't it? We don't have an encounter here. Oh, guys. Okay, so our first... We're getting an encounter right off the bat. Um, we're going to put Wigglytuff back out front to potentially put things to sleep. If I'm wrong, I will. I won't use this. I probably won't use this Pokemon in this episode, and I'll check after to make sure it's legal. Our encounter is a Kakuna. Well, we'll catch it so we can um, enable dupes claws for this Pokemon and species claws. So if we encounter either a Weedle, a Beedle, or another Kakuna down the line, we'll be able to re-encounter. Because there's no point not. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. If you're a huge fan of Beedrill, I'm sorry. I quite like Beedrill as a Pokemon, but... Like, not in a Nuzlocke, especially Generation 1. He is pretty much garbage. Um... And we're going to name him exactly that. Bit of garbage. Garbage. Garbage was transferred to someone's PC. We're going to find out who that someone is today as well. He's just come from Mount Moon. He's ready. God, I hope he's not like that other hiker in Mount Moon. 
He is! No way! No, I cannot believe the odds of that. Um, right, well, our special is pretty good. Um, what is Shellshock special? 49. So it's actually half of... <sighs> I'm caught in two minds. We have a lot of health. I think we can live something. I'm gonna try and put this Mewtwo to sleep. We know he's got Psychic. It worked, okay. So I think what we do, um, we're gonna go out into Blastoise, and we're just gonna Water Gun. Um, I was actually thinking, I know like Sheldon needed a move like Bubble Beam to help him um, level up, but honestly. I would have rather put Bubble Beam on Blastoise because we don't even know if Shelda's going to survive to level 30. Whereas if Blastoise had had Bubble Beam, this Mewtwo could be gone already on this third thing. I mean, what? Water Gun is 40 um, damage and Bubble Beam 65. Um, luckily, this Mewtwo hasn't gone for a Psychic for whatever reason. So we've actually taken him down quite easily. So it looks like this trainer type specifically is going to be one that we really need to look out for. Um, he's going to be worrying for us. Um, we're going to get Derek out for a bit of switch training action. We're going to speed up now because the threat is gone in my opinion. Because we're going to one shot the Oddish just like that. Derek's going to get his first bit of experience. And okay, so off to a relatively good start this episode. We've had an encounter, we've had um, a Mewtwo battle, and now we're going to take on this fool. Yeah, so this episode, ideally, I want to get our Cascade Badge. I believe that's the right name. If it's not, I am sorry. I put the wrong Pokemon out front. Um, in fact, you know what? We're just going to stay in. Rio can handle the Seedra, get him a little bit of extra experience. Clefable. Now, it was the Clefable that killed um, Rocco, wasn't it? So, we got to hope for... I, I was going to say, oh, you know what, I was about to stay in and then I thought, no, I can't risk the... Can I risk the metronome? Surf? The thing is, if he gets any... <sighs> What do I do in these situations? I've never been so scared of Metronome in my life. We're going to go back out into Rio. Um, and we're just going to Fury Attack. That was pretty clutch, I'm not going to lie. Got a five hitter there to um, wipe out that youngster. Take on this dude. Rio's still out front, I forgot to change him. But it doesn't matter. Go on, let's speed this up. These are just some standard battles. We're not going to mess around. Rhyhorn's out here, we're gonna water gun. See, already the levels are picking up, and I can't, what, Misty's gonna be level, I feel like I was debating this last time, I think Misty's gonna be about level, um, her ace is like 22, I think. Okay, I'm not scared of Kakuna, we're actually gonna stomp, because stomps, really? Oh, he used to harden, but even so, like, maybe, does stomp not work, is it? Come on, really? Maybe we just do Fury Attack just to get the multiple hits. Alright, it's a good job we've got the speed up. We're just going to keep stomping. And Kakuna's is dead. He's actually going to give us a level, a fair bit of experience there just because he was so much higher level. This random, this randomizer, this randomizer actually has an option to turn on like black and white uh, leveling to... Um, if a Pokemon's a much higher level than you, you'll get a huge amount of experience. However, I do not have that enabled because I didn't want to make the game too easy. So, of course, Derek is going to give us exactly what um, Golem gave us. Electric Immunity, which is lovely. We're going to take down these two Pokemon, no problem. Steel-type isn't a thing in this game. There's no point using a potion, because if he just Sonic Booms again, which he will, it's going to do the same. So we're actually going to go out into... Who's our best option apart from... 
probably um, probably Puff Boy actually. Did not mean to do. I didn't mean to use Sing. Idiot. Yeah, because I keep thinking Normal is going to resist, but it won't. So we are in fact going out. Oh god damn it! I can't. Um... This is annoying. So he does have an electric type move. So I don't want to go out into Rio. I don't really want to go. We're going to go out into Zap. Um, and we're going to tackle ourselves. We can tackle again. And we can tackle again because he used... If he'd Sonic Boomed, we would have had to switch again. But um, who would have thought Magnemite would be giving us some problems? Let's go down. <laughs> we won't use a Pokeball on him once. We'll use a Potion. Um, we'll use a couple on Derek because we have a lot now. We can afford to um, spread them out a bit. Just like that. We'll, we'll use one more. We're gonna, because also fighting these trainers, we're gonna get more money um, to buy even more. Derek's gonna come in again. He won't have a fighting. He might have low kick, so we are gonna switch out. And we're gonna go to Rio. To, uh, super effective, of course. Um, he's gonna get the crit and the kill. We'd like to see that. Dugong is gonna come out. Derek back in again. We're switch training. This will stunt our growth overall, um, but over time. You know, we'll have a more well-rounded team, and hopefully, you know, we might have a few more deaths because of that. But over time, I like to think um, we'll just be better off. I'm going to try taking down this Stratini ourselves. We're going to be able to. Let's go. Thunder Wave does not affect us. Pikachu again. This Pikachu is not going to do anything. Derek's already. Sh Boom! One shot that Pikachu drove its horn straight into its stupid little face. Oh, have some of that! Get out of here! Get out! Um, I've got a girlfriend! Oh yeah, that's right, I'm pretty sure this kid, his girlfriend's like, on the same route, kind of bitching about how he's a useless boy or something. Um, Zap's gonna come out, take down this war turtle with a thunder shock, and this is what I wanna see, we're getting to the point. Yeah, I'm gonna stay in for Zap, just an easy one-hit kill again. We're getting to the point where we've got options for pretty much everything like stab super effective moves to take down different pokemon and we're starting to one shot them and it's going to get easier and easier to level up we just picked up tm22 what is tm22 horn drill oh my god that's another one hit ko move i think i need to just um i need to make sure and this is fissure right that's barrier okay can anyone learn Barrier? Can Puff No one can learn Barrier, right? We're gonna battle as many people as we can, again, for the money and experience. Um, water type, again, not good for Derek. Fantastic for Zap. Just like that, Kingler is no problem. Um, Mankey, again, will go out into Derek. I'm pretty sure Mankey does have low kick. So, but then even for the fighting type, we have Rio, he, there's the low kick. We go out into Rio and he pecks and it's a one hit kill. I always remember this, like, with, without the randomizer, this girl giving me some problems. I think she's got like a level 19 gloom. Um, and it always used to like poison powder or sleep powder and it just kind of tore me up. I mean, in this she's got a level 13 farfetch, so I could just be making shit up. Um, so of course we benched our Farfetch'd for Derek and he's going to show us exactly why we did. Um, we're going to Fury Attack, just pres preserve PP for no reason other than the fact we can. Uh, so what was I saying about the TM? Oh yeah, Hornjaw, I need to look up Kangaskhan. I need to look up whether or not... Um... I need to look up... Focus! I need to look up whether or not Horn Drill is indeed a one-hit KO move. Oh no, it, it is, because um, the other one I was getting it mixed up with was Drill Peck, like um, the flying type, really powerful move that Zapdos has. Um, we're gonna... Ah. So, uh, we hit five times. That's also terrible, because he used Rage. The way it works in this game is we gave him an attack stat boost for each um, attack. So he's now plus five. 
and we were not out speeding. I guess the thing is, is he gonna do anything to actually hurt me? I guess if he comet punches, gets a crit and hits me five times, that it will probably kill me. But otherwise, I don't think we have much of an option other than to stay in. What Our defense is 45. That's pretty good. What's Blastoise defense? 55. Um, but of course, we're going to be resisting his moves. I'm going to horn attack. Oh. We're good. Alright, so we speed up again. Level 16. Again, uh, Rocco never quite got his rock type move. I want the rock type move on Derek and a ground type move if we can. That's going to be big. Um, of course, it's kind of annoying because um, in the normal game we'd get dig after the gym badge and the team will be randomized so we won't get dig in this game. Hi, I'm a Pokemon. Call me Bill. I'm a true blue Pokemaniac. Hey! What's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you, I screwed up an experiment combined with a Pokemon. So will you help me out here? Yes. When I'm in the teleporter, go to my PC and run the sound separation system. I don't know where that came from, but... We're gonna help him out. We're gonna tap away on his PC. I have no idea how we know what to do. Apparently we're a 10 year old with mad IT skills. He's come out, he's looking like a normal guy. Yeehaw, thanks bud. <laughs> how you want? I've got a little bit of a Texas egg. So, did you come to see my Pokemon collection? You didn't. That's a bummer. I've got to thank you. Oh, here, this will do. We received the SS egg. That's a cruise ship, the SSN. It's in Vermilion City. Its passengers are all trainers. They invited me to their party, but I can't stand fancy doos. Why don't you go instead of me? So, I think his voice changed about three times there, but it doesn't really matter. We got what we came for, the SS ticket. We're going to fast walk all the way back and we'll have it with 17 minutes. Okay. It's amazing how quickly these go. Um, we're going to top up on a few more... Um, I said this was a vault... Oh, it's an electrode. Good. Because uh, I was thinking in between episodes. Uh, did I get that wrong? Is that an item that I'm just not picking up? Um, we're going to get five more Pokeballs. I don't even know how many we have. Oh, we've got, we got loads now. Damn. Um, we're gonna get... We're gonna get an escape rope, because why not? We are gonna get... Wait, did I... Why am I not buying... You can't carry any more items already? Oh, man. Alright, we're gonna sell barrier, because that's gonna give us some money. And we're gonna quickly, um... Well, we're gonna buy what we can. We're gonna buy, um... Actually, gonna buy... Eight potions. Now we're going to buy an escape route. Um, we're going to go to the PC. And I've already thought that there are some bits that we can. No, wrong one. So we're going to go to Tommy's PC. We're going to deposit. I probably don't need the town map. Um, what should we deposit? Well, we're going to deposit the water stone because we won't need that until much later on. We're going to deposit TM34, we're going to deposit Helix Fossil, we won't need that till much later, um, TM44, alright, well we can take that out when we get to the million, hopefully I don't forget, um, and we're going to put TM22 in there, okay, right, so that's cleared up our bag for a little bit, of course that's one of the worst things about this game, it's a fantastic game, but having limited bag space is a right nuisance. So from getting to Cerulean and having our main two Pokemon a little bit overleveled, I'd now say we're at the point where we're pretty much on par. Those Pokemon are about the right level and um, everyone else is a tad under, but in the scheme of how the game actually goes, you know, we're looking about right. And I'm loving how the team looks. We're looking pretty diverse. We've got some nice options, like I keep saying. Look at that. Like, options, options, options. Misty can wait. She can, that is very true. Meowth, I'm not even afraid of the Meowth. Payday's good for us because we're going to get extra money from this battle. Again, Derek, his defense is so high. Now, here we are. We're going to save the game. And we're going to do a little um, save slot like that. Misty. A poker fan favourite. <clears throat> Hi! You're a new face. 
What's your policy on Pokemon? What is your approach? My policy is an all-out offensive with water-type Pokemon. Misty, the world-famous beauty is your host. Are you ready, sweetie? I felt... I felt very... very strange doing that. Robin! 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 Again? <sighs> what is it with this dude? Robin sent out to Robin? Is this like a secret rival? Robin's gonna follow us around. So, Misty is wet as usual. She is going with her water to... Can't believe I just said that. She's got her water type Pokemon. <laughs> we're gonna... Uh... Which is fine for us, because if that's all she has, we're gonna just rock out with Zap and we're gonna Thundershock her to the moon like we are Zeus. I don't know if he specifically shocked anyone to the moon, but that's what we're gonna do. Um, Derek's getting XP, Zap's getting XP, and it's a Pidgey. Well, Brock gave us a little bit of trouble, a bit of panic. Misty is laughable. This Pidgey can't even touch us, so I'm gonna get the extra experience on Derek, because he is... He, he's earned it. Um, he's put in a good shift this episode, and I think next episode will work a bit more on Wigglytuff. Get them up a bit, um, just as an option. And just like that, we have defeated Misty and earned ourselves a Cascade Badge. When she gives it to us, it'll be on the layout, so keep an eye out for that. Derek grows to level 18, Tommy defeated Robin. I can't believe I lost. <laughs> All right. You can have the Cascade Badge to show you beat me. We get two grand! Oh my days. The Cascade Badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30 obey. That includes even outsiders. There's more. You can now use Cut anytime. You can cut down small bushes to open new paths. You can also have my favorite TM. We received TM 11. What is her favorite TM? She's not going to tell us? Alright, well, that's that then. We are going to check out this TM and then we're going to end this episode. We boot up a TM and it contains Psy Wave. Can anyone learn it? Rio. Not ideal. Rio is not a special attacker. So we will put, we'll save that for later. Ladies and gentlemen, let's just quickly check his special. 35. We're not teaching him so wave. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you have enjoyed this episode and if you're hyped for our cascade badge, leave a like on the video and maybe if you're feeling good, hit that subscribe because you know it's going to help me. And that way you can keep following along with this journey. I feel like these are getting better and better. I'm well and truly in my flow. Thank you for the support you're giving me, if you are. I love you already. Thank you again for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.